In this video we're going to have a look at how we can place a window in the center of the screen. Let's consider this monitor here and we can see within the monitor we have an application that's full screen. If we remember from a previous video we can start here and move in this direction and we're moving in the positive direction along the X axis. If I come back to here and move down we're moving down the Y axis and indeed what is happening is y is getting bigger we went on to show that the top left corner was when x was zero and when y was zero so we can say that the coordinate position of that top corner is zero zero a question we can now ask is what would be the coordinate position of the bottom right corner as you can see pointed to by this arrow and the answer is it depends it depends on how the monitor has been set up you see the monitor can be set to be 800 by 600 meaning that the number of pixels in its width would be 800 and the height would be 600 but of course we can also have monitors that are 1280 by 720 in this case x would be based upon 1280 and y would be based upon 720 and we can go on and see other sizes for monitors so when we write some software we need to know what the bottom right corner is because that will help us find the center of the actual monitor into which we can place the window we wish to run but of course we don't know what kind of monitor is going to run on so we have to base where we're going to place the form in the middle on the monitor size in terms of its width and height where the width and height are expressed in pixels one of the ways in which we can find the width of the screen in pixels is by using this method here and this will return the width of the screen in pixels if i wish to find the height of the screen there's another method i can use and it's this one here and that will tell us the height of the screen in pixels and this is part of the language and if i ever want to find out what the height and the width of the screen are i need to use these two methods if i know the width of this monitor then i can find halfway along the x-axis relatively easily but halfway along the x-axis is shown here all along that line all the way down that line we have x being half the screen width where this point here is halfway along the x-axis consequently this point here is also halfway along the x-axis of course it's further down the y-axis as well but we can see that that dotted line is splitting the screen in half along the width along the x-axis so if i wanted to find out where that was this is what i would use i would use the method that gave me the screen width and i would divide it by two and that would tell me this point along the x-axis now this dotted line is telling us where we are when we're halfway down the y-axis and that dotted line is splitting the screen in half with respect to the height now if i wanted to find out where this point was on the y-axis this is the method i would use and i would divide it as you can see by two and that would give me this point if i use this program statement here that's going to locate the center of the width of the screen the center in the x-axis as represented by that dotted line if i use this program statement here then that's going to find me the middle of the height of this screen which is represented by that dotted line now these two program statements will give me the x and the y coordinates i need and consequently i'll be able to locate the middle of the screen represented by this circular shape here where the center of that shape is the middle of the screen so using these two program statements here we can locate the middle of the screen the center of the screen and we can work out what the x and the y values are for that middle of the screen with respect to the width and the height of the screen as it is set up of course it could be 800 by 600 1280 by 720 and so on but the key is that we're finding the middle with respect to the screen width and the screen height for the monitor on which the application is going to run. 
Now, once I've found the middle of the screen, I can say, right, let's place the window with respect to this position. And if we do that, the window is going to appear here. Now, clearly, that's not the middle of the screen. What we have done, we've placed the corner, the left top corner of the window in the middle of the screen. If it's truly going to be in the middle, it needs to be in that position there. So what we have to do as a programmer is to say, well, all right then, how do I make sure it's in the middle like this? Well, we have to locate this position here, the X and the Y for that position. To enable us to do this, we need to know the width of the window, as you can see there, also the height. Now the reason we need to know these is then we can work out this value here is going to be the width of the window divided by 2 and this here is going to be the height of the window divided by 2. Once we have those values we can then work out where the top left corner of the window will need to be placed. Let's remove the form from view and just deal with the measurements we currently have. Now I've shown how we can use two program statements to locate the middle of the screen. What I want to do however is not locate the middle, I need to locate the X and Y positions for the center of that circle. Now how is that achieved? Well it's quite simple, you take the value that this has and you subtract from it this value and that will give you the x coordinate for the center of the circle because you come in this direction up to here and then you come back on yourself and of course if you're coming back on yourself you're subtracting so the program statement becomes this here it becomes this value which finds the center along the x-axis and then you come back this amount hence the need for this subtraction here well, what about y? Well, for the y, we use this, and we subtract from it this value here. And the program statement that will give us that is actually shown here. You can see this gives us the y coordinate for the middle of the y-axis, and this value here is this value, so we subtract it, as you can see. So these two program statements give us the center of this circle and that's the position the X and Y position that we place the left top corner of the window that we wish to display and that window will then end up in the middle of the screen this program here will ensure that the window to be displayed appears in the center of the screen and we have the usual program statements we have this here which will import what we need from TK into and down here we have the main loop which we always need and this line is responsible for creating the instance of the window and these two program statements here are setting variables to be used later when setting the width and the height of the window we wish to display well the first one you can see is setting the width of the window to 400 and this one is setting the height of the window to 200. So the window I wish to display in the center of the screen, the center of the monitor, is going to have a width of 400 and a height of 200. Now down here with these two statements, you can see this is the method that I wish to invoke, and that's the method we've just been discussing to find the screen width, and this will find the screen height. And this is a message to this instance where this instance is the window that was created here and the instance will have this method and this method will return the screen width and it will return it to this variable here. This message is going to this object where this object is obviously the window that was created here and that object we've already seen has the appropriate method for finding the width and this is the one for finding the height so this is invoked so this message will return to here the screen height now these two program statements find the x and y coordinates necessary for ensuring that the 
window is displayed in the center of the screen. Now this program statement finds the x coordinate and you can see it takes the screen width that was found on this line and it divides it by 2. Over here you can see that we take the width of the window which was set here to 400 and you can see it's divided by 2 and here you can see there's the subtraction. Now this calculation here we have already discussed in this video. This line finds the y coordinate and this calculation we've already discussed in the video and you can see that the screen height is divided by 2 and the height of the window is divided by 2 and here you can see there is a subtraction and that calculation will find the y coordinate. Now this program statement will actually set the size and the position of the window to be displayed on the screen and it's using the geometry method that we've seen in an earlier video and what we can say is this is a message it's a message to this instance and that instance was created here and the instance is going to have this method invoked and this is the parameters that are taken and here you can see something we haven't seen before and this is a string and it's a string that's going to be formatted from this lot in other words the width of the window is going to go into this position the height of the window is going to go into this position the x coordinate is going to go into this position and the y coordinate is going to go into this position here and you can see within the string that we have x and these two plus signs. So as far as the geometry method is concerned this string here will consist of the following. It'll have 400 for the width, it'll have 200 for the height and it'll have the x in this position and it'll have the two plus signs here and of course this will be a number which represents the x coordinate and this will be a number that represents the y coordinate and the overall effect is that when this program runs the 400 by 200 window will actually be in the center of the screen and we can see that on the following slide there is the window which is 400 by 200 and you can see it in the center of the screen the center of the monitor if you are unsure as to how the geometry method actually functions please look at the previous video in this playlist on TK Inter and it explains the geometry method there this program is a slight amendment to the one we've just considered and the amendment can be seen on these two lines the width of the window is now 200 and the height of the window is now 100 in other words the size of the window to be displayed is smaller and when this program is run what you will see is the following and you can see that the window is indeed smaller but look carefully and you can see it's still in the center of the screen it's still centered as you would expect so we can see that actually altering the size of the window is taken into account by the program statements and the calculations we've made in the program this program is showing another amendment and the amendment is again to these two lines and you can see the width of the window is set to 1000 and the height of the window is set to 500 so when this program executes what we're going to see hopefully is a bigger window that's still centered in the middle of the screen so let's have a look if in fact that is the case and you can see the window is indeed bigger and it's still in the center of the screen so the calculations within the code have worked of course you may wish to try this yourself and you can alter the size of the window to be displayed but you may also want to change the resolution of your monitor and see if indeed regardless of the size of the windows you're displaying they appear in the center of the different 
resolutions you set for your monitor and you should find that they do you could have problems if your window is going to be bigger than the resolution of your monitor you'll only see part of the window displayed but essentially you've got a mechanism here which is tied to the resolution of your monitor and the size of the window the calculation takes into account the width and the height of the screen and the size of the window and the effective arithmetic ensures that the window is displayed in the center of the monitor regardless of its size check out the supporting website for these videos in addition why not follow me on twitter as i issue a tweet every time i upload a new video